welcome and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titlini Hahn. Now then, when you hear the word fool, you might think of one of three things. Maybe an Egyptian porridge made with fava beans. Maybe an idiot. Or maybe a classic British creamy dessert. For my rhubarb fool, I've got 450 grams of fresh rhubarb cut into chunks, 300 ml of double cream or whipping cream, 100 ml of Greek yogurt or thick yogurt, and 4 tablespoons of sugar. Put the rhubarb in a pan with the sugar. Turn on to a very low heat, very low heat. Cover and allow the rhubarb to cook. After about 10 minutes, the rhubarb should be really tender. Now turn off the heat and allow to cool completely. Once the rhubarb has cooled, strain it and keep the juice. Now whisk the cream to soft peaks. Mmm, peaky. Then mix in the yoghurt. And fold in the rhubarb. Then place the fool in individual serving dishes. Then drizzle over some of the rhubarb juice. Now chill in the fridge for at least an hour before serving. Garnish with a sprig of mint for a classic British summertime dessert. And use any leftover juice to make a delicious rhubarb cordial. I was staying in a hotel in Cairo one time and I went down for the buffet breakfast and in front of all the dishes they had little labels in English telling you what it was. And there was this big brown pot full of brown stuff and on the label it said FOUL, F-O-U-L. And believe me, it really did look it. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihan. Until next time, Khoda Hafiz. Oh,